All right, good morning, seventh period. So this is your uh, the assignment for today. So you're going to do page nine and page 10, okay? So this is page nine here. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. Uh, I'm going to show you like the first three and then you can do the rest, okay? So these... So this is page nine. So these, you're gonna convert mixed numbers to improper fractions, okay? So if you remember, you probably, some of you probably remember this, okay? So we'll, we'll go ahead and do it and then we'll go from there. So on number one, so to convert this, you gotta convert it to a regular fraction, yes? So to do that, if you remember, you gotta multiply these two times six and then you add the five. Let me, let me zoom in more right there. Okay. So two times six is what? 12. And then add five. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this becomes 17. And then on the bottom, leave it the same. So there's number one. Easy. So you're converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. This is improper, okay? The reason why it's improper because you see the numerator? The numerator is larger than the denominator. That's why this is improper, okay? All right, let's go on to the next one. All right, let's do number two. So for number two, again, the same thing. You have three and five twelfths. So you're gonna multiply these and you're gonna add these. So what's three times 12? Three times 12 is 36, yes? You might need a calculator for these, okay? So three times 12 is 36, and then you add five, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So it's 41 over, and you leave the 12 the same. So there it is. And let's go ahead and do the third one. Hopefully you're getting the hang of it. So two times five, and then you add the three. So what's two times five? 10 plus three, 13. So this is 13 over five, okay? All right, so those are your first three examples. Go ahead and do the rest. Here, here's the rest. If you don't have the paper, you can copy it down now. But it's, you're gonna do four, five, six, all the way to 21, okay? So if you don't have it, um, you can copy it down and then do the work on your own paper. All right, guys, this is uh, page nine. All right, class, now this is page 10, okay? So this is page number 10, okay? Now, this is the same as page nine. You're gonna convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, you can do the same thing. The only thing you notice is now this is fifth grade. Okay, and because the numbers are bigger now. Okay, so you might need a calculator for this. Okay, if you want to. If not, you can actually, you know, just uh, multiply it out on a piece of paper. But you can use a calculator. I'm letting you use a calculator. That's fine. Uh, either way, you're going to convert these to improper fractions. So again, let me zoom in on these three. We're going to do these three. And then I'll let you guys do the rest. All right, here we go. So 15 times 12. So you're going to multiply these and then add 6. Okay, so let's see what we get. Let me zoom in. So you get your calculator. In this case, I have my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and put 15 times 12. That's 180. So this is 180. And then add the 6 plus 6. So we get 186 over 12. Now, we can simplify these even more, but we won't do that now. But if you want to simplify these, go ahead. I'll give you extra credit. All right, guys? But you don't have to. You can just leave it like this. Okay, let's go on to number two. This one should be easier to multiply. So you multiply 6 times 4, and you add the 3. What's 6 times 4? 24 plus 3, 25, 26, 27. Okay, so this is 27 over 
four. And then the last one. Okay, 100 times 10 plus 50. Now, if you don't know how to multiply by these, just add a zero. So 100 times 10 is 1,000. So 1,000 plus 50 is 1,050. So 1,050 over 100. And in this one, you can simplify if you want to. If you want to simplify it, go ahead. Um, I'll give you extra credit. But you can just leave it like this. 1,050 over 100. All right, now go ahead and do the rest, guys. Okay, this is page 10. Okay, so if you don't have it, here's a copy of it so you can see it. All right, pause the video so you can see the questions. So you're going to do all of these, okay? So you're doing page 9 and page 10, okay? And remember, you're having a quiz later on this week on all of this, on all this packet that you have. So hopefully you still have this packet 1 through 10 because you're going to use those as notes for your quiz later on this week. All right, guys.